Welcome to the ACC on ESPN as the home crowd welcomes the upset-minded Cavs. For Virginia, play action, Rocco. And he's able to connect to Max Million, but that Virginia Tech defense quick to get on top of it. One out for Virginia. Rocco with time, and that is incomplete. Thomas, he's going to take a shot to start the game, and he's able to connect with Marcus Davis. Flag one of the best corners in college football, but he gets all jersey here and just holds on to Davis. Look at him right here. Left hand, holding him up, and ball in the air. Completely legitimate pass interference call. The root for here today with so much on the line, and her son starring in that centerpiece role is David Wilson, and Wilson so explosive and able to keep it to get to the edge watch him find the scene and decisively cut it up he's got the the lane there sees it great lead blocker by no Sol out there number 75 they run the option thomas touchdown virginia tech this the second leading rusher uses that option to perfection untouched virginia tech and they run the option that way and figure out he can't handle two gaps. There's a gap there. There's a gap there. Logan Thomas recognized it, went to that option. I believe he probably audible at the... Lay hand off to Perry Jones. And Jones only... Able. Rocco now. Plenty of time looking over his options and then decides to run it himself and not much there. The 15, David Watford now. Design quarterback run, Rocco. He's going to be short by a yard and a half. In the middle of your screen there, number 98. He's only a sophomore, 300 pounds. Does a nice... Hooks. Tripped up. Jack Tyler surged into the backfield and cut him down. Phil go, they wanted to go after, but Tyler had other ideas with this fantastic fourth down stop. Barry Jones. Clifton Richardson now seeing time, and he gets the carry here. They bring pressure up the middle, and it forces Rocco. Give the receiver a chance to catch the ball. He just has to be in the area. And the initial thought was they had no one in the area. Well, there's one right there, and they're going to give them that because you don't. It's now in the gun on second and ten. They keep it on the ground with Wilson. Stiff arms. Tries to keep his balance. I like it. Go. It's worked out well, like it does right here. As the fleet feet in those size 18 shoes take him for another first down. As we continue to get those updates from Robert. Here's second and 10. And Thomas takes a shot and connects with Marcus Davis. It's the second big catch working on Hosky. Davis has two big catches. And the reason they're using him, they're working the third corner. They've stayed away from Nicholson and Minifield by and large and gone after Hosky when he's in there on that third down situation. That's a matchup that's a tough. Thomas has been playing well so far. Can he convert here? They bring some delayed pressure against Thomas. Over the middle. Touchdown Hokies. Jared Boykin. Boykin is working out of the slot on the right side and got matched up with the safety. Mosley had a nice little stutter step before heading to the post. On to punt again. And it takes a bounce. He decides to field it. Does. Kevin Parks look at the pursuit of the Hokies defense. Gets this one away. Backing up Posley inside the 15. Posley. Blockers in front for J. Ron Hosley. Cuts back midfield and then stumbles down. Thomas does get it complete this time to Boykin. 
And Boykin is inside the 30 yard with big hands, tough guy, not afraid to battle. Projected as a mid round draft pick right now, fourth, fifth round. Second and four, Thomas, if he gets free, watch out. Flag is down, and we'll see if this holds up, and a good. Yeah, Greer is chasing Thomas, has no idea that Coles is there. Coles is a big guy, 225 pounds, and he goes up against Greer, who is about the same size, but you're bringing force with you. Watch this hit, he has no idea. Not down, and we'll see if down, and we'll see if down, and we'll see if down. And we'll see if this holds up. And a good. It's this hit. He has no idea. It's this hit. He has no idea. It's this hit. He has no idea. Not often that a wide receiver is the same size. Instead, they give him the ball on the ground. He cuts back, but then could not get pressure again. Ball came out there at the end. Devastating turnover for the Wahoos. And Rocco can't protect himself in the football. You see that Perry on the right side can't pick up Kyle Fuller as he comes off that edge. They were concerned about the pressure inside and the strip by Fuller negates what would have been a scoring option. At the half, Virginia Tech up 14-0. When we come to the, we'll need to be more committed there. And they got to try to find a way to stop Logan Thomas. He's been looking good as he hits Chris Drager. And complete again to Danny Cole. It's a good receiver. A guy who's number two on the career reception list here. Just works off of Nicholson with that. Second and five as Thomas keeps it himself. And by the time the defense is able to pick up on that, he has all that forward momentum of 254 pounds and another first down. Thomas complete again, and Davis makes a really good move to the inside. Deception. Wilson gets through the hole. Watch out. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. He gets green grass, and he's gone. To force Wilson inside, a nice little block on the corner gets Wilson to the edge, and he's got another big gainer and a 21-0 lead. Gets in position to punt. And Perry Jones at the 27, he muffs it. And trying to get themselves up off the mat here. And instead, play action. Rocco intercepted. That was Dietrich Bonner. Ball was off the hands of Bird. And I thought Bird had a chance to make the catch there, and he did a little bit. No, it wasn't actually Bird. It was Bird. Bird missed it. They're usually sure-handed guy. He didn't quite. Rocco. Gets away from the pressure for a moment. And then is taken down at the 22 by James Gale. The football. You cannot take a sack when you're in the scoring zone. No one's open. Now you've got to throw the football away. He's trying to buy a little bit more time, but then starts looking for the place to go down. You cannot do that. And low in the missed field goal. First and 12 after they take it back in the holding and just quickly David Wilson. He gets those shoulders square towards the other goal line. Hits the accelerator. And just like that, he's downfield. He missed. He has such acceleration. Watch when he turns it up. Now he's in full gear. And he can run through arm tackles. He is a lot stronger than people realize. They get ready for the fourth. Stay with us. Salters here in Charlottesville. David Wilson on second and eight. And Wilson inside the 40. Talked about getting to the outside. The good pull by Nosal 75, but getting Wilson to the edge. And when he turns it up, you are at his mercy. Wilson on second and ten. Goodbye, Hello Enzo. Thirty-eight yard touchdown run by David Wilson. Clemson's going to watch some tape this week and say, oh boy. But they reported with Marcus Davis. 
Rocco pressured, and he goes down again. And this time, it was Luther Maddy and James Gale. Intercepted. Inside the 10, J.R. Collins. And it is just falling apart for Michael Rocco. Corner coming, and then you'll see the safety getting back into the side. Right over there, the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball quickly, and he couldn't find it. Clemson offensively with Boyd and Watkins. A little pressure coming after Thomas here, but that was awful easy. Marcus Davis caps a big day. That bunch formation to the left just runs a little circle route inside. No one picks him up at all. Seven catches, 106 yards, and a touchdown for Davis. They've Perry Jones throughout the year, but they've been depending on this guy, Rocco. This time he finds Kevin Parks, just two yards there. They go with the screen this time. Ball came loose, and Virginia Tech jumps on it. That, that was to watch just the way Posley attacks this play. He beats the block of Perry, Perry Jones, and knocks it out. Now at the end of the play, there was the personal foul by needed this second half. And he gets it down to the five-yard line. Number 11 here. Wilson going to reverse fields. Quarterback's going to offer a block, and Wilson scores again. A flag comes down at the 12-yard line. We'll snap. Illegal block in the back, number 19 in the offense. 10-yard penalty, third down. Well, Fields just waiting to block somebody. But watch the hit by Thomas, the quarterback. Now, this is no ordinary quarterback. Watch this hit. He's a tight end. Oh! Quarterback's going to offer a block, and quarterback's going to offer a block, and quarterback's going to offer a block, and Wilson scores. A He's a tight end. He's a tight end. He's a tight end. Oh! You receive, and I'm sure Thomas wants to see it again because it was something. <laughs> you receive, and I'm sure Thomas wants to see it again because it was something. <laughs> You receive, and I'm sure Thomas wants to see it again because it was something. <laughs> and he finds a way. Put him into the mix now of the top three candidates with Trent Richardson and Andrew Luck. As that is completed that time. Mark Leal. Leal now to Marcus Davis. Davis has had a big night. You know, and Davis gives them the surge to win the closest Heisman race of all time in 2009. Leal scrambling and able to connect that time. And it's inside the 20 to Willie Byrne to the 14-yard line. And, and they've not been as sharp the last couple of weeks. How will they play tonight as you see? The Commonwealth Cup that Virginia Tech will keep for what the eighth year in a row. Eight straight for Virginia Tech. They have won 12 of the last 13. Virginia hasn't defeated them since 2003. And a shutout victory here today to claim the Coastal Division. Jump. Impressive young man, Logan Thomas. He had a big day, as did running back David Wilson, who went for 153 yards and a couple of scores. They're headed to the ACC title game is Virginia Tech. Our final score, 38-0. They take the Commonwealth Cup.